we decided we wanted to raise meat for our family because when COVID hit, meat was scarce and we were like, well, we'll try to be little farmers. That's my hair. We got really attached to him because he would run and jump at us. I have four kids, so when the kids would kick a ball, he'd run and jump and like snort and chase the ball. And I'm like, what the heck? He's playing with us. I don't even think he knows he's supposed to be a cow. Everybody would tell me, you are not butchering him. He's a pet. He's funny. You guys are getting way too attached. And I kept trying to be tough. Of course, butcher day came and I just started bawling. I had to go out there and feed Delver his last meal before we took him to the butcher. Cried all the way there. We go all the way to the butcher and he gets out and I, I hear and feel like the trailer moving around. We hop back in the trailer and I'm like, alright, it's done and over with, I need to wipe up my tears. So then we start heading down the road and my husband's like, can you check that trailer door? So I get out and check the trailer door and Delver's like, moo, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And then I hop in the truck and I'm like, what? Did, why are you taking him home? And my husband's like, the butcher said that he was a little bit too small. I kind of figured that was meant to be. I'm keeping him, he's my pet, and I'm not going through the butcher thing again. Del, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. We live and learn because Delver's taught me a lot and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's tomorrow going to bring? Because he's just crazy.